May 12th, and we're putting the final insulation and walls in here. No one is putting foam board insulation up on the rafters and the birds won't be able to reach it. That's it. I don't know if they can. Trimming and then we need to do inside. Inside We need to put up roosts and nest boxes. As we're outside working um, on coops, we have been trying to take some of our plants here and uh, for instance, these are little tomatoes that need to be replanted and we've replanted some of the beets into cups. I have a whole tray here of zinnias and they look so great in here. I'm not sure if we will, we'll probably see how many cups we have and try to replant some of them too. Um, eggplants, and look at our watermelons. So we need to find something big to put them in. Stacia and I are going away um, for a about 10 days, I guess a week. I think it's a week, but we have, it takes us two days to travel there and two days to fly back. So all together, it's probably more days. I don't know, I haven't figured it all out. But we're trying to have everything that needs transplanted and transplanted before we leave. And then we've cut up a bunch of toilet paper holders and paper towel holders. And we're going to just get a bunch of seeds started too that the guys can just keep moist while we're gone. Um, because by June, our ground is supposed to be warm enough that we can put it something in the ground. Right now, that's not happening. <laughs> so we had a watermelon catastrophe so we're down to two watermelons which we've transplanted and I think we have 17 zinnia plants right there and four eggplants in front and 10 bush tomatoes and 10 beets and I think there's 12 um, cherry tomatoes. So these were all just in, we had planted them in toilet paper rolls and they needed to go into something deeper. So hopefully that will hold them for a week or two until we can get them into the ground. Not about transplanting these tubs, but they seem to be doing pretty good in them. I came my herbs are doing great. I'm not so sure I made a mistake. I didn't know that they needed to have soil with them and I those are in five gallon buckets of potting soil, the potting soil station I made. And so they're not going to get the nutrients they need and we are going to at some point need to transplant and put some uh, dirt with them as well. And then yeah the trees still inside because it's so windy. I didn't transplant this mess of cabbage and carrots. Again, I don't have anything deeper than what they're already in. And the squash has just been doing this blossom thing all week and I don't know what to do about it. And then I have a box of carrots and lettuce and greens up there too. Well, we've had them all four weeks. We know the local ones are just about four weeks old. There's three of them. The ones we got from Anchorage, we really think there's probably a one to two week difference because some of them are huge, like this one. Full feathered. And full feathered, and quite a and this one's kind of full feathered. And then a lot of them, even in the same breed, like this one here still has feathers to get and is quite a bit smaller and still has down. 
So we're guessing they're all four to six weeks. There's probably some that are six, five or six weeks. They're all at least four weeks. And we're doing our best to get them into a coop. We're not going to wait in the six weeks like they told us to because they're going to make us all crazy in here. They're getting loud. Stinky. <laughs> Stinky, even if I try to change it every day. They are going through their water. I'm changing their water and food three or four times a day. So they need more space, bigger feeders. So we're going to move them. 